Today, heart disease is a major concern in our country. One of the ways that we can really monitor that within ourselves and within our families is to regularly have our cholesterol checked. Hi, my name is Jenny Roberts, and I'm a nationally certified personal trainer and also a graduate of the American Academy of Nutrition. Today, I'd like to talk to you about how you can calculate your LDL, or low-density lipoprotein. This has to be done through a blood panel, and of course, you would have to go to a physician in order to have that prescription written for that blood panel to be taken. Now, prior to the lipid plan panel being taken, you have to complete a fast, and this would happen the evening before, and then, of course, no liquids, including water, after midnight. Once you've fasted, blood will be drawn, and different things will be looked at, not just your LDL, which is your low density, but also your high density lipoproteins. In addition, your triglycerides will also be looked at. All of this information helps to calculate that LDL number. Now, you've probably heard low density lipoproteins being referred to as the bad cholesterol. Remember, our body manufactures all the cholesterol that we need. So we want to make sure that we don't have what we don't need in excess. What happens is first we actually calculate the total cholesterol. We do this by dividing whatever number comes back of triglycerides by five. Once they have calculated the total cholesterol, they then actually subtract the high density lipoprotein number. Once they've subtracted that, they add the triglyceride number back in, and there it is, your low density lipoprotein number. This is exactly how it is calculated. However, one good point you do want to remember, the most important thing when you get that cholesterol reading back is not to panic if the numbers are high, but to look at what your cholesterol ratio was between LDL and HDL. This is really the key. I'm Jenny Roberts. Stay healthy, and thanks for joining us.